Good morning, Fruit Roll Pirates, and welcome to FVNN. Today is Tuesday, the second day of February, and the 100th day of school. Today it is Groundhog Day. And by the way, Groundhog Day is a day where you get to see if spring, if spring is going to come or if winter is going to come for, for six more weeks. So, if the, if the groundhog comes up and doesn't see a shadow, that means spring is coming soon. And if and the groundhog comes up and does see a shadow, there's winter for six more weeks. I'm Jordan. And I'm Gabby. Now to Valeria for the pledges. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Fruit Roll Pledge. I can be responsible, respectful, and resourceful with everything I do and say today. To area. Now it's time for Popery Trivia. The number to call on your screen is 50612. We'll be answering caller number three. The question is, when was basketball invented? Oh, I repeat. When was the when was basketball first invented? Sorry, you're calling number one. Probably cheating. We're not using their minds. Oh, uh, that's Tony. Sorry, hey, you're calling number two. <laughs> Hello, whose class is this? Ricky. <laughs> Who's speaking? Ricky. How are you doing today, Ricky? Good. What's the answer? 1891. Come on! The answer is 1891. Now to Chef Luca. What's for lunch today? Good morning, Fruvillians. Today we will be having red chili burrito, crunchy beef taco with rice, Cobb salad, steamed corn, Santa Fe black beans, pears, tangerine, ripped fruit juice slush. Arr! Thank you, Chef Luca. That sounds yummy. Get ready to run, 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 because February 12th is the Jogathon. And make sure ask your friends and family to sponsor you. Get healthy and have fun, and we'll be you will be able to win prizes and awards. Make sure to fill out your envelopes and don't forget about your shout outs. Your family can send you a shout out for only one dollar per message. And the grand prize for the most money raised is a part of five at Sky Zone, the indoor trampoline park. Collect those cats and lids for the recapture program. And the Pixar party is this week at from Thursday and Friday. Make sure to be seen at two thirty and at two. 225, oh, 225, and I can't wait to see you, to see how many people come to the party. Now for the quote of the day. Today's quote is, things fall apart so that the other things can fall together. Now to Miss Rogers here for some special announcements. Good morning, Fruitville Pirates, and happy 100th day of school. We've been covering many different career types in preparation for next week's career day. It's only one week away. So today I'm going to cover two more types of careers so we can get through all of them. We have already talked about the social, artistic, and investigative types of careers. This week I'm going to tell you about the realistic and conventional types. If you look at the pictures on this, um, oh, on the last slide, the realistic type you see a man doing some construction work. And the conventional type you see a woman working on a very old fashioned looking computer. That picture's a little bit outdated. If you look at the next slide, I'll tell you about what the realistic type is. Realistic basically means you like to work with your hands. So you might, you might like growing plants, fixing machines, working on cars, building furniture, or other things. You probably have common sense. You might like taking things apart and putting them back together. And for this type of career, you might be a mechanic, a pilot, a farmer, or a carpenter. So that's one type of career. And the next one I'm going to discuss today is the conventional type. 
So conventional is somebody who might like to type on computers, count money or make change, create budgets on how businesses or people are going to spend their money, or file documents. So this has to do with a lot of office work, what you might think of people who work in an office. If you're a conventional type, you might like to keep things in order. You're probably good at following a plan. You're probably a pretty organized person. So some types of careers for this area are a secretary, a bookkeeper, an accountant, or a post office clerk. So students, keep thinking about what types of careers sound like you, and remember that there might be quite a few different ones that sound like you. So during our career day, you'll be able to see many different people from different career backgrounds, hear more about what they do, and really make some decisions about what you might want to work towards. So that's next Tuesday. Very exciting. I can't wait to see all of you here for career day. All right. Thank you very much. Back to you, anchors. Thanks, Ms. Rogers Hare. And don't forget, parents, to keep on thinking what you want to do when you grow up. Um, the Computer Programming Design Club meets today. And Wordsmith meets today. And thank you for watching another awesome episode of FBNN. I'm Jordan. And I'm Gabby. We, we can, can have, have a terrific, terrific Tuesday. Tuesday. See you See tomorrow. By the way, computer programming?